All right, happy Low Impact Tuesday, everybody. Let's just start with a nice, easy march here. Marching in place, pumping those arms. Low impact, but high intensity. We're gonna get a sweat going, keep moving. Make sure you have your water close by. We're gonna march out for about 10 more seconds. Keep it up. Good morning, everybody. Keep it up. Couple more seconds with this march. We got four, three, two. Now we're just gonna take side to side squats down and up. Drop, lift. Just take a side to side, 30 seconds. Warming up those legs. So our first circuit we're gonna do with some light weights. Light to moderate, not super heavy. Then we're gonna do body weight. And then last one will be with our resistance band. Couple more seconds here. Four, three, two, low impact jumping jacks. Reaching those arms up and tapping the feet. 30 seconds. Keep it up. Now, even though this is all low impact, if you're okay with a little jumping, you're more than welcome to do that. This is your workout. Hey, Ellen, how come I can't see your image? <laughs> I hear your voice. Uh oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if anyone ever. Can, can, ever anyone else, can anyone else not see me? No, I can, can see, see you fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, sorry, Mike. Maybe log off and log back in. Might just be like the, the device that you're on. All right, let's take this back to our march. We're gonna go through those again. I want you to add those arms this time. Reach and pull. 30 seconds. We're getting that heart rate going. Maybe turn off the camera, turn it back on. Sometimes it's a little weird. Pumping those arms up, keeping that chest lifted. Knees to chest. We've got four, three, two. Let's hit those squats again. Step out to the side and lift. Drop those hips. Keep your chest up. 30 seconds, drop and lift. Keep it up, everybody. About 10 more seconds here. Then we're back to those jumping jacks. You can choose with or without that jump. Three, two, let's go. Arms up. Let's get nice and warm. I'm gonna keep that chest up. Arms overhead. Nice. 15 more seconds. And then we're gonna get a quick stretch. And just get right into that workout. <clears throat> We've got four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Open and close those arms. Is that better, Mike? Shake it out, hopefully you can see. <laughs> All right, feet nice and wide, shoulder rolls. Let's turn this into a full body roll. You're gonna bend the knees as you inhale. Roll down, exhale up, let's do it again. Just stretch it out, especially the back. One more time, stay low. Drop that right shoulder in, little twist. Inhale up, exhale, drop that left shoulder. Roll on up. And open those hips, just draw circles with your knees here. Stretch out anything else that you need to. We're gonna get going. So our first one's a little bit of a kickboxing um, circuit. You want the light weights. Maybe moderate, you can always adjust. Our first exercise, we're gonna do four cross body punches. So it's four, three, two, one, squat and lift. You're gonna repeat that combo. Four cross body punches into a squat. 
We're gonna work for 40 seconds. You're gonna get just under 10 to go to the next exercise. Three rounds, so we're really gonna get that heart rate up. We're gonna go ahead and start with that one. And it's gonna start in three, two, let's hit it. So it's four, three, two, one punches, squat low, lift up, repeat it. These are diagonal punches. You wanna keep your chest up. And then you drop those hips into your squat after those four punches. Center of your body. Think of like bringing out a towel. So we got that little twist with those punches. A couple more seconds to go. Three, two, and stop. Just under 10 seconds. Your next one, you're gonna step back, tricep extension, press overhead, alternate that step back. Go ahead and start. Step back, tricep, and then overhead press. You're gonna lift up under the balls of your feet there too. So elbows high, step back, press overhead. Step back, press overhead. So this is step back lunge. You lean forward as those arms go back, and then nice and tall as you press up. Woo. Keep those elbows high when you do your tricep extension. Keep going, everybody. So you're low, and then you're high. Three, two, and one. All right, next one. We're gonna step out with that right leg, and then we're gonna kick left. Step and kick, let's go. Step out right, side kick, left leg. Down to that squat and kick. You can add a punch with that left arm. You can add a little hop when those feet come together. Down and kick. We stay on the side the whole 40 seconds. Woo! I want you to look at where you're kicking. Open up those hips to get that kick. Press through that foot. Press through that heel. We've got four, three, two, and stop. All right, we do the same thing on the other side. This time it's your left leg. You step into your squat. Kick right, let's go. Drop, kick, drop, side kick. Woo. Your weights just stay at your chest. You can add that punch with that right arm. Make sure you're looking at where you're kicking. Boom. Woo. Keep it up. That kick can be low, medium, high, whatever you got. You got 12 more seconds. Woo. And then we're gonna repeat from the top. Not much of a break. And stop. <laughs> All right, back to the top. You got those four cross body punches into your squat. Ready, set, let's hit it. Drop and lift. So your hips don't move here, just your torso and waist. Drop and lift. Second round of three. So here's where, if you want it, you can adjust that weight. Maybe grab something a little heavier. Maybe a little lighter, it just depends on what you're using. Seven seconds. Come on, can you get a little lower in that squat? And stop. Ooh, we step back, big tricep extension. Step. And then overhead press, I'll change those legs, let's go. Step back, tricep, kick back, and then press up. Once you lift up onto the balls of your feet, press all the way to that ceiling, or sky. Woo! Elbows back and high. Keep it up. 
sensitive shoulders, you could press straight in front instead of overhead. Back of the arms, should be feeling this. Bring those elbows even higher. Three, two, one. All right, our side kicks. We start with that right leg, we step out into that squat, step together, kick left leg, let's go. Step out, kick left. Side kick. You can add that punch with it. Drop, little hop together and kick. Ooh. Gotta keep that core nice and strong here. Let me see it. Open up those hips, side kick. Drop and kick, get that leg as high as you can. You can rotate that hip down a little bit. If those hips are tight like mine. Nice, give Regina good kicks. Nice, good Bill, love it. And stop, shake it out. Other side. You get just a few seconds here. Keep those weights at your chest. Three, two, let's go. Drop. Step together and kick. Add that punch with that right arm. Right leg kicking, right arm punching. Boom. Look at where you're kicking. You want to extend that leg straight out. Kick through that heel. Nice. Hit your nana. Keep it up, everybody. Then we have one more round of this. And then you're just going to really quick break before we go to body weight. 12 more seconds. Whew. High intensity, low impact here. And stop. Whew. Okay, one more round. Same thing from the top, so again, you can adjust those weights. At your chest, ready, set, four punches, let's go. I want your arms to extend completely in those punches. And again, as low as you can in that squat. Weights at your chest. Hips down, chest up. Keep it up, let me see it. About 20 seconds remain. Cross body punches, feeling the core. Nice, good Mike. Hit, hit, and drop, good. Nice, Bill, keep it up. Good, Linda. Couple more seconds. When the day starts fading and the rain has dried, I know you're the person I want by my side. And stop. Woo, I'm gonna go a little heavier for this last one. The words here. Tricep kick back, chest back, elbows high, and then press up and then switch legs. Go. Tap back with your leg. Tricep kick back, and then press up. Are your elbows as high as mine here? Woo, make sure you're matching what I'm doing. I'll come check in in a few seconds. Okay, yes, yeah, so I now I feel that. Elbows up. Woo. 12 seconds. Remember, you're lifting up on the balls of your feet in that overhead press. So we'll see the levels. Nice, yep. Good, Mike, good. Elbows up and high. Nice bill, reach all the way up, nice and tall. And step, side kick. Our step out into our side kick. Left leg kicks first. Weights at the chest, let's go. Step out and kick. I kept my heavier weights here. But they're not heavy, though. they're moderate. Whew. But whatever is gonna challenge you today, right? Whew. The heavier the weights, Heart is gonna be. You're gonna really get the heart rate going. Keep it up. Can you get a little lower? Nice side kick. You wanna be really strong that you're kicking someone away from you. So you always wanna think of kicking them in the chest, pushing them away from you. Nice strong kick. Look at where you're kicking and stop. Just a few seconds. Catch your breath, other side. And then we're only gonna get 30 seconds in between. Let's go. I'm all falling over here. Keep that core nice and strong. Ooh, this side's a little harder for me. Extend that leg. Kick. Ooh. 
Look at where you're kicking. Keep it up. Last time you do this. Can you get a little lower? Add that hop there. Woo. Couple more seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. And then we're gonna get just 30, just enough to get some water. And stop. All right, everybody. 30 seconds. We're gonna move on to body weight. Your first one's on the floor. You're gonna do four twisting mountain climbers into a down dog position. So working upper body and back. So right knee goes to left elbow. Four twisting mountain climbers. Down dog lift. Reset. Four mountain climbers. Lift and reset. And it's just four total. All right, that's our first one. Break is over. We're starting in eight seconds. Come on down. Our next one will be a lateral lunge. Let's start in your plank. In three, in two, let's go. Four twisting mountain climbers. Opposite knee to elbow. And then down dog lift. Reset back to your plank. Woo. Keep it up. Now this is too much for your shoulders or your wrists. You can do a standing option. And just bring the opposite elbow to your knee. So I'm showing that option. If you want to do that, you get 12 more seconds. Really working through the core here. Couple more seconds. You'll come right up to standing in three, in two. Come up to standing, feet together. Your next one, you're gonna step out. Lateral lunge, kick, switch. Go ahead and do this with me here, kick. So left leg, lateral lunge. Step together and then a straight kick with sides. So legs and core. Step out and kick. Chest stays up. Chest stays up. Hips stay low. Once you get the hang of it, maybe you can go right from your lunge to your kick. Woo. That definitely makes it harder. Big step out. Three, two, we're back on the floor. This one's core. Hands at your chest, knees are bent. Sit up, toe touch. Ready, set, go. Just gonna kick that leg straight up and reach for your toe. Sit up, kick and reach. Sit up, kick and reach. You're reaching for that opposite foot as you kick it straight up. Whew. So knees stay bent. Just kick up to the ceiling. Reach for those toes. Woo. Keep your chest lifted. Hands at your waist. I'm sorry, your chest. Oh my gosh, hello abs. Keep going, you're pressing your low back into the floor. We come back up to standing in three, two, we're gonna practice the balance. Come on up, warrior three. We'll start with that left, right leg long. We do two pulses, knee to chest. Go ahead and start. Two pulses, warrior three, knee to chest. Two pulses, knee to chest. Two pulses, little leg lifts, and then knee to chest. We're gonna switch sides in like a couple seconds here. Leg is straight, it's pulse. Pulse, and then knee to chest. All right, you're gonna switch legs and do the same thing on the other side. Pulse, pulse, knee to chest. So I'm keeping my hands at my chest. Hands can be at those hips. Leg nice and straight. Couple more seconds, we got three, two, and one. You're gonna come back to the floor. Those four twisting mountain climbers into your down dog. In three, two, round two, let's go. Find your plank, feet wide. Four twisting mountain climbers, down dog. Come on. Remember your options. You can do this standing. You can even just hold a plank, maybe on your elbows. So you have a couple options, keep going. 
Remember, opposite knee to elbow, so not a regular mountain climber. 10 seconds, your feet are wide. Try to touch your elbow with that knee. Bring it all the way across and under. Stand up. Feet together, lateral lunge. Woo! So that leg that you step out with, it comes right up to a straight kick. Go ahead and start. Lateral lunge, and then kick it in front, switch legs. Big step, straight kick. Big step, straight kick with that chest up. Woo! The wider that step, the lower you go, the harder it is gonna, it is gonna bring yourself up. So get really low, and then push off the floor. Kick that leg in front. Woo! In and out of thighs, work in here. And stop. On the floor. Sit up. Kick and reach. Let's go. Hands to the chest. Sit up. Kick your leg. Reach for that toe and then switch. Your leg is just kicking straight up. Doesn't have to be completely straight. Push your low back into the floor. As soon as you lower, lift back up. Other side. Keep going, 12 seconds. Make sure you're not dropping down too hard to the floor though. We don't wanna go too quickly. Nice, really reach for those toes. And stop. Come on up, that warrior free balance. This time we're just gonna focus on one side. We're gonna do that right leg the whole time. Let's go. Two pulses, leg is straight, and then you bring your knee to your chest. Now if you want a little harder, stay low the whole time. And add arms out too. So inhale, two pulses, exhale, knee to chest, extend those arms. One, two, in for three. One, two, in for three. Oh gosh, it's a lot harder. So match my, what I'm doing here. Kick, little pulse, and then pull that knee into your chest. Woo! Now that's too much for your back and keep your hands at your chest. Come back up. We've got four, three, two. All right, shake it out. Next time we'll do the other side. We're back to the top. Mountain climbers. One more round. Three, two, let's go. Twisty mountain climbers. Four of them. Push up to down dog. Three feet. Woo. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up. If you want a real hard challenge here, you can add a push up. Tricep push up. After those mountain climbers. Fourteen seconds. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. Want to bring that knee as close to your elbow as you can. Twist it all the way under. Reach it across. And stop. Stand up. Stand up. Lateral lunge into that straight kick. Feet so together. Let's hit it. Drop it low. Go right into that kick. Push legs. Remember, it's half a squat, half a lunge. You're pushing those hips way back. Way, way back. Good, Linda. Yes. Your chest still stays up. You want to make sure we can breathe, right? Keep that chest up, hips down. Keep it up, 13 seconds. Big step, good Mike, yep. And that straight kick, nice Regina, beautiful. Good Bill, he gets low. Don't know, I know you're working. And stop, sit up. Sit up, hands at your chest. You kick and reach for those toes. Ready, set, go. Sit up, reach for the opposite foot. Reach for the toes, really. Chest up. Woo! Come on. You got it. 
We got one more after this, keep it up. And then again, we'll just get that 30, 40 second break through some water, our final round. It's gonna be with our band. Can you lift a little higher? Kick a little higher, reach for those toes. Come on, abdominals, let's go. Three, two, oh my gosh, one. Stand up, it's our worry free balance. We're doing the other side. Ooh, tuck those hips under, right? Core nice and strong. Let's go. Two pulses, knee to chest, you can add those arms. Two pulses, knee in. Keep that back leg as straight as you can. I'll show you from the front. I go two pulses, and then bring my knee to my chest for that core. Woo! Standing leg feeling most of this. It's slightly bent. Just make sure you're not going too fast. You don't want to arch your back. You got about 10 more seconds. Then we'll get that little breather. Tuck those hips. Come on, we got four. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. All right, take a 30, 40 second breather. Grab some water. How are we doing? We good? Okay, our next one is with our band. And if you don't have the band, you can just use light weights. First one, we're down here kneeling. I don't know why I lifted that. We have the band around our wrists. <clears throat> we'll start with that right leg out. So it's your kneeling side plank. We're gonna hit the core and the arms. You're gonna lean to the side, pull down, come back up to the top and repeat. So we'll do that right leg first. Exercise two, we'll switch it. So come on down, make sure you support for your knees, your band or your light weights. Bands around the wrist or you're holding light weights. We're starting five seconds, come on down. I know, we're going right into it. Woo, we're working. Ready, set, arms up, right leg out. So you lean to the left, little side bend, you hold that. Do a pull down, come back to the top, the center. And then repeat. Pull down, you wanna bring that band to your chest. So you just go over to that side as far as you can. So really important here, imagine wearing that tight belt around your waist. Squeeze your glutes a little bit. And you're just going over a couple inches. Whew. Sensitive shoulders, your arms are gonna be in front instead. A couple more seconds. You're just leaning to that left side and step. All right, now we're gonna extend our left leg out. And this time we're doing leaning to the right. Arms up, let's go lean to the right, stay there. As you pull down, come back to the top. Very slow here. Whew. This will be probably our slowest one. I want you to drive that belly button in towards your spine. So really keeping that core nice and strong. Keep going. I'm gonna pad for my knees here. Now you'll get a little bit longer transition for your next exercise. We got about 12 seconds left. Because we're gonna place the band above our knees. We'll give you a little extra time there. But you wanna do it quickly. We've got three, two, one. All right, band above the knees. And you're gonna grab your weights. If you have a heavy weight nearby, you can grab that. We're just gonna go weight at our chest. Super low squat locks. Always tension in that band. So our legs never come together. Always keep that tension. We're starting in five, in four, three, start on one side of your space, and maybe two or three steps. Drop, find your lowest squat, and then add those steps. Your lowest squat. This one's also slow. Your legs, your knees, they never come together. I want tension on that band the whole time. Can you get a little lower? Hips down, chest is up. Right? Woo! You see how low my hips are? Nice and slow. Make sure we're not rocking that upper body. You've got three, two, 
and one. Okay, you're down on your back. This one's core. Legs up, you're gonna lower halfway, just pulse. Pulse, press against that band, come on down. Lift head, neck, and shoulders. Lower the legs as low as you can, and then pulse, and press, and press. We're pressing out against that band. Those are pointed, legs are straight. Head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. If you want a little more support, drop the head, place your hands under your hips. If hands are under your hips, I want you to push into your hands, press them into the mat, press out, press out. The lower you go, the harder this is. And stop. All right, take a couple extra seconds here. We're coming back to that first exercise. Band off. Come to that kneeling position with our right leg extended. We're starting in five, four, three, band around the wrist. Arms up. Let's hit it. Moving to the left, you're gonna hold that as you're pulled out. Come back to the center. Nice and slow. Whew. So a different feeling than some of those other circuits. Working all those small muscles. Wanting to fatigue those muscles, feel that burn, feel that little shake. About 10 more seconds, super slow. I want you to feel every movement here. Nice and slow, it's gonna be a little harder. Three, two, and one. Woo, other side. The slower you go, <clears throat> Is. Whew. And the less likely you're in, you injure yourself too. So slow it down, right? I want to push through this. This movement's tricky. Tuck those hips under, keep that core nice and strong. We don't want to be arching our back. Whew. Oh my gosh, my arms. Woo, I'm already feeling it. So remember for sensitive shoulders, you can have those arms in front instead of overhead. You're still doing that side bend and pull. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, one. Take a couple extra seconds. We're gonna stand up and place that band above the knees. If you don't have the band, just heavy weights to your chest or whatever you have. Low squat walks, starting in five. Four, find that lowest point, drop. Find your lowest squat, everyone drop. And then start. So two or three steps to the side, whatever you have room for. And then other side. See how quiet my upper body is? We don't want those hips to rock up and back. Keep them low, yes, good. Everyone get a little lower, I know you can. Imagine there's that chair there. Just like you do every day, sitting down into your chair. We're just pausing halfway. Less than 10. Get a little lower. Keep tension on that band the whole time. Keep pressing away. And stop. Down on your back. Woo. Legs up. Find your lowest point and you're just gonna press. Hands under your hips or behind your head. If hands are under those hips, push into them. Keep your back flat. Press and press. Inner thighs, lower abdominals. Keep those legs straight. Press and press. Oof. Little extra work. Lift head, neck, and shoulders. Keep your gaze at your toes. Couple more seconds, and we got our final round. 10 seconds to be exact. Come on, everybody. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Take about 10 seconds here. Take that band off. You got this. Take that band off. Whew. Come back to your kneeling. All right. Band around the wrist. We're starting in five. Right leg extended. Three, two, arms in front or overhead, your choice. Lean to the left. 
Stuff, add your pull down. That to center, repeat. Nice and tall here, nice and tall. Don't let it sink into the mat. Woo! Nice and slow, pull that band down to your chest. Now you wanna see your hands at the corners of your eyes. Couple more seconds, come on, we got this. Woo! And stop. Just under 10 seconds, maybe you roll the shoulders, we're gonna do the same thing, other side. Time's up, let's go. Lean, hold it, lat pull down. Remember, pull those elbows in, right? Back up, back to center and repeat. You wanna press against that band and pull down at the same time, right? Woo, shoulders away from those ears. Squeeze those glutes. 15 seconds. Low. Woo. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Keep going, everybody. Couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo. Take a couple extra seconds. Band above the knees. Band above the knees. All right, we're starting in five. Oh, you can grab those heavy weights. Find your lowest squat. Drop, and now walk. So you wanna find the lowest squat first, and then start the walk. Stay there the whole time. Woo! Can you drop your hips a little lower? Oh my gosh, feel that burn. Couple steps to each side. Keep tension in that band. 15 seconds, keep it up, let me see it. Let me see it, get nice and low. Good, I don't wanna see any shaking. Good, nice Mike. Perfect, good Linda, nice and steady, I love it. Good Regina, keep breathing everybody. Three, two, you're on the floor, come on down. Either hands under those hips, or a little harder behind the head, and you lift the chest off the floor. Legs up. Drop to your lowest point and press, and press, and press. You're pushing the legs apart, but you're also pushing your low back into the floor, right? Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We're getting close to the end. Getting close, getting close. Whew. Can you lift your head, neck, and shoulders a little higher? Maybe drop those legs a little lower. Keep pressing everybody, less than 10 seconds. We're almost there. We got two minutes of work left after this, and stop. All right, take that band away. You're gonna drop into a forearm plank. So it lasts two minutes of class. Ready, set, forearm plank. This is just for 30 seconds. Let's go. So we're gonna finish with final four exercises. 30 seconds each, find your plank on those forearms. So first variation, you're just holding that plank. Hold it, hold it. Maybe knees on the floor, but keep that bat nice and straight. Couple more seconds here before we change it. Hold that plank. Now you're gonna drop both knees. You're gonna tap them and lift. Tap and lift, tap and lift without moving your back, just tap the knees. Tap and lift, tap, lift, tap and lift. Keep that back nice and flat. Just tap the knees and lift. Do not drop those hips. Woo, tuck those hips under a little bit. I know this is hard. You've got four, three, two, drop to your chest. Extension, Superman, let's go. It's lift and lower, lift and lower. Arms by your side, chin down. Lifting everything off the mat as you inhale and exhale lower. Woo. Keep those legs straight. We got one more change coming up. Couple more seconds. 
All right, extend those arms in front, lift the legs, and you're just gonna flutter. Swim for the last 30 seconds. Pump, pump, pump. Pump those arms, pump those legs. Chin down. Like you're swimming, go, go, go. Can you lift a little higher? Legs straight. Keep going, less than 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Press yourself up. Inhale, Woo. exhale. Come back into child's pose. Knees wide, feet together. Slowly sit back into those heels and drop the head. Hold that there. Good job, everybody. Hold that child's pose. That is your two minute core little burn out there. Hold that child's pose. Couple more seconds. You can shift your waist side to side. Good job, everybody. One more breath in this child's pose. And then slowly come up to your tabletop. Let's find a nice cat cow. So inhale, you're gonna drop the belly, lift the chest. And then exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. And let's do that two more times. Nice and slow, inhale. And exhale, lifting away from the floor and the mat. Inhale, drop. Last one. And exhale. Let's come back down to our chest and belly. This time for our stretch. Look to your right, grab your right foot. Knees together. Press your thighs into the mat. Quad stretch. Relax that upper body. And then go ahead and switch. Look over to that left side, relax the head. Grab that foot. Try to keep your knees together and press into the floor. Try to pull that heel all the way in towards your glute. And then go ahead and release. Bring those feet a little wider, or legs wider than your hips, hands under your shoulders. We're gonna inhale, lift for a baby cobra. Just lifting that chest a couple inches, and then exhale, lower. We'll do it one more time. Keep that chin down, inhale. And exhale. Tuck the toes. Press up and back for downward facing dog. Pedal out those heels. We're gonna stretch our hips and glutes. So you can do pigeon pose or figure four on your back. If you're gonna do pigeon pose, slide that left leg to the top of your mat. You wanna try and bring your shit parallel to the mat. Doesn't feel good, you're on your back doing your pretzel or figure four stretch. Put that ankle over your knee. If you're in pigeon, lower to those elbows. Take a couple breaths. If you're in figure four, feel free to pull those legs into your chest. And then if you're on your back figure four, you can just switch and cross another ankle. If you're in pigeon, slowly press up, press back to down dog, and just switch legs. Bring that other leg to the top of your mat. Drop back. When you're ready, lower to those elbows. Figure four, make sure your head is down, your back is flat. And pull those legs into your chest. Take a couple breaths wherever you're at. And then everyone's gonna meet in a downward facing dog. Nice and slow. Make your way there. I want you to really press your chest towards your thighs. Lift those hips way up. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. And then inhale, gently lower those knees to the floor. As you exhale, you're gonna slowly roll up to standing. Nice and easy, head comes up last. 
Once you're at the top, take a couple shoulder rolls. Shake those arms, crisscross in front. Shake the legs out. And then inhale, reach those arms up, nice and tall. Exhale, bend the knees, let it go. One more time, inhale and exhale, shake it out. All right, you're ready to take on the rest of your Tuesday.